we are going to hit on today. And this one seemed like a lot of fun, so I want to make sure that I hit on it. This uh, this title, this headline, and it's over at uh, it's Outkick. And, it, man, let me tell you this. Ryan Glassbeagle, who used to be over at the Big Lead, he works for Outkick now, and he puts out some fantastic stuff. Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelty beat Post Malone so badly in beer pong, he got their tattoos. This is absolutely insane. It says, uh, if you could choose to be one person on the planet for a day, Patrick Mahomes would have to be high on, if not on the top of the list. He is a Super Bowl champion, has the potential to win many more, given he's only 24 years old, just signed a new contract that could be worth upwards of half a billion dollars, and does not appear to have the anxious qualities that can often be drivers of greatness in others. Uh, Clay Skipper profiled Mahomes for GQ, and one anecdote that popped out was the time that he and Travis Kelsey beat Post Malone so badly in beer pong that he got their names tattooed on his arm on the spot. That is absolutely insane. Uh, the Chiefs had their Super Bowl parade, and then serendipitously, Malone was playing a concert in town that night. Mahomes got an impromptu suite. He and Kelsey went backstage before the show. They beat him so badly in beer pong, 14 to 15 games in a row. As Malone went through a number of partners that the performance was a little delayed, and Malone finally had enough. So he got the names tattooed on his arm right there before he even went on stage. <laughs> it's a signature, and it's a freaking cow- or a, a Chiefs logo. That's a, Joseph Gomez said Post Malone is a Cowboys fan, so that's surprising. Like, that man's got every kind of tattoo that you can possibly yeah, he's have. He's got a million of yeah. them, so they don't matter anymore. At some point yeah. in time, they, they lose value because you just have too many. But it is unbelievable. Like, at 14 to 15 games in a row to lose to somebody, that is... And so it leads to this question, right? Are Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes the best beer pong duo in the NFL? Nope. Who would you say is? It's the easiest answer in the world. It's Rob Gronkowski and Tom Brady. <laughs> I think a little differently. I think Kyler Murray could be pretty good at this. Nope. Um, and the reason I say this is because I think baseball has a little something to do with this. I don't. You don't think so? Nope. Okay. I, I, I think I can practice see. at this has something to do with this, which is where it helps Rob. And I think yeah. competitiveness is where it helps Tom. Tom wasn't a big beer drinker. Have you ever watched the videos of Tom chugging a beer? Uh, yes, I have seen that. Yes. He can drink a beer faster than anybody humanly alive that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and he learned to do it because he watched his offensive lineman when he was young, always chugging beers. And he, he knew he had to be better at it. Yeah. And practiced by himself chugging beers and timing himself. And then the next time they all went out, he didn't say a word. He just stepped up and said, I'm in. And yep. it took everybody's money. That's so good. It- that's and so they were good. all just like, what just happened? So I'm going to tell you that you can have the young buck. I'll take the two old guys. <laughs> I can I can 100% see that. I can I, listen, if see I didn't that. know Tom beer drinking abilities, I would there's no he would be the last person I would guess at this. Yeah. Because it just doesn't seem to be his personality. He's just that guy that's got that weird competitive thing to where if he wants to beat you, it, it's it's the same thing that made Jordan great. It's if he wants to beat you, he's just going to find a way to do, and he's just, and he's not going to stop until he does. Uh, Matt Miller said, "How about you guys get a partner and play beer pong with a named tattoo on the line?" Now I'm all good, brother. My tattoos are done. I'm done for for life. I'm good. I'm good. I got all of mine earlier. Like I don't have to worry about it now. I will um, tell you, I, play I beer pong had though. a tattoo bet with a guy once, and he welched. I was ballsy enough to, and you know me, I would not have welched at all. I believe in, I believe in paying my bets. What What was the and tattoo? It was an It was an Alabama LSU game year, and and it was just straight up winner take all. You can get, you have to get an LSU tattoo, but it can be anywhere on your body. I have to get an Alabama tattoo, but it, it can be anywhere in my body. And I was prepared to be branded with an Alabama A on my ass. And apparently he was not. No, he wasn't. Oh, no. Well, I mean, he was. He said he was. And we did the bet, and LSU won. It was one of the few times we beat y'all, but. I mean, that had to be a decade ago. Like that. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't make those bets now, Gary. I'm not a child. I'm not an idiot either. <laughs> okay. I definitely did this in my 20s. I'm a 37 year old man now, Gary. Uh, I didn't do it last season. <laughs> 
My hey. ego is not that big that I have to be stroked like that. No, <laughs> I don't do that shit today. Damien, Damien said that's a tramp stamp. Uh, Michael, oh, no, 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 no. If it's down on the haunches of the ass, that is not yeah, a tramp stamp. That's not stamp. a tramp stamp. Uh, Kyler Murray might have an issue seeing over the cup, said Michael. Uh, Agreed. It's, it's very true. Matt Miller said Rob Gronkowski and Antonio Cromartie. Uh, Gronk because I, I'll of I'll tell you this. Baker Mayfield is probably sneaky really good at oh, this. Oh, I bet he is. I bet he certainly is. Uh, he said Cromartie because he never misses his shot. That's <laughs> we, we got some fire in here today. I like this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Michael said Kyle will need uh, Bloomberg's box. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. Um, let's see. Damien said anybody can do it unless you're Aaron Rodgers. And then Michael said, Aaron Rodgers' poor beer pong skills probably caused his 89 Madden rating. <laughs> it's probably right. There's no doubt Aaron Rodgers would be the worst partner because as soon as he starts doing bad, you know he's going to get pissed off and start yelling at you because oh, yeah. he's sucking. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That's going to just 100% going to happen. Mm. Man, y'all oh, are on that's fire. That's hilarious. That's that. That is an awesome story, though. Yes. I mean, yeah, Post Malone getting a tattoo that there's. That's like the least interesting part of this. Okay? Oh yeah, it's but the the fourteen to fifteen straight beer pong games that these yeah. two. Beer- and I'm gonna tell you this, Kelsey. Like if I didn't know that this happened, yeah, Kelsey Mahomes is probably a pretty good combo that I would take. I'll tell you this, I think you're gonna find more tight ends combos than you are wide receiver combos that are good at this. It's gonna be a lot of quarterbacks in the tight ends, or quarterbacks and an offensive lineman, or quarterbacks and the running back over a lot of. Oh stuff. yeah. Uh, here's, here's how the story goes, by the way. After nine or ten games, Post is interrupted by his manager. It's time, he's told, to take the stage. Post waves him off. He needs to win a game. Uh, finally, around the 14th or 15th game, Post decides he needs to up the stakes. He hands a piece of paper to Mahomes and Kelsey, and he asks them to write their signatures, and he promises to tattoo the autographs onto his body permanently if they can beat him again. Uh, so surely you know how this ends. Post loses. He has a tattoo artist literally in the room recalls Mahomes, who sounds alarmed even in retrospect. I'm like, dude, you do not actually have to get a tattoo of our autographs. And certainly by now, you know this too, Post Malone is a man of his word, and he gets his new tattoo done backstage, oh, sorry, immediately after the show, inking him, uh, inking onto himself a squiggly Patrick Mahomes autograph that looks like it had been written by someone who'd been drinking all day to be tattooed onto someone who's been drinking all day. Uh, <laughs> in, in asking Mahomes about that epic day, I set the over under at 20 beers, to which he replied, way over, but added that he doesn't know how many full beers I drank because half the beers were on my clothes. For his part, Post Malone uh, told me he thinks it's the only tat that ended up on his body as a result of a lost bet. That is nuts. Michael said it's insane how different those guys live. Yeah. Uh, Matt Miller said, uh, by the way, Plaxico too, because he doesn't miss his shots either. <laughs> Man. Plaxico is going to shoot it and make it in his own cup. Yeah, that's you, the problem. That's the, that's the biggest problem. Uh, ben said, does Post Malone just take tattoo artists with him everywhere? I wouldn't doubt that. Oh, well, I, I'm going to bet. Listen, I'm just going to bet, like, a guy there knows how to use a tattoo gun. I don't. Yeah. I think we're using the word artist pretty loosely. Right? Yeah, I think I think in this case, yes. I think in this case. Uh, Damien said, Aaron Rodgers would be the one that, per, uh, da, 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 that you pick last in a dodgeball game. I don't know about that. I'd take Aaron Rodgers in a dodgeball game. I'll tell you this. It, it not beer we're pong. talking beer pong right now. I really might take Aaron Rodgers like thirty eighth out of all the quarterbacks. I wouldn't doubt that at all. I, I, mean, I doubt he's ever even quarterbacks played. that probably just don't drink a lot that I take my shot with. Yeah, yeah that's probably right. Probably right. <clears throat> um, let's close up. Let's close up right, the uh, the show. 